Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Faster Training Minute coming to you from the Faster Training Institute and AIM Testing Laboratory in beautiful El Cajon, California. Today's topic has to do with an important fastener standards update relating to fastener plating specifications. This is big news and actually historic information, and you need to know about it. So when we return, you'll learn more about this brand new fastener standards update regarding plating. Searching for a hard-to-locate, fill-in, or oddball industrial fastener item? Get out to the FCH Sourcing Network at fastenersclearinghouse.com. FCH is the search engine for hard-to-locate fastener items. Free to use, over a million and a half fasteners. That's why we call it Scroogle. <laughs> it's the FCH Sourcing Network. Fastenersclearinghouse.com. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is Carmen Vertulo again with your Fastener Training Minute. Today's topic is an important fastener standard update, and that standard is ASTM B633, which is actually not a fastener standard. It's a plating standard for zinc electroplating, and it's actually not even a fastener plating standard, and we'll explain that in a minute. Well, as you know, most of you who use or specify plating for fasteners, ASTM B633 has been the prolific standard that has been used for all kinds of zinc electroplating over the years. It's not ideal for fasteners. So in the year 2000, the ASTM Committee F16 on fasteners developed a new plating specification specifically for fasteners, and that was ASTM F1941 to help solve the problems associated with B633 when it's used for fasteners. Since then, F1941 has been continually improved, and we now have F1941 slash F1941M 2016, which is the definitive specification for electroplating fasteners, and it includes metric fasteners as well. So I'll just say out of the gate that F1941, F1941M should always be used for electroplating fasteners. Don't use ASTM B633. Now, Unfortunately, in addition to not being well suited for plating fasteners, ASTM B633 has changed for the worse over the years. Primarily, B633 changed the requirement for hydrogen embrittlement relief baking to require pre and post baking of steel parts above HRC31, that's Rockwell C31. Research has shown for some time now that only steel parts above HRC39 are susceptible to electroplating-induced hydrogen embrittlement, and that's the requirement for baking in F1941. Now, the problem for us fastener suppliers is that many older drawings and specifications refer to ASTM B633 for electroplating fasteners, and that's a problem because it's not ideal. A lot of time and money has been wasted in unnecessarily baking electroplated parts when B633 is the call up. Well, the good news is this. After many years of work and countless meetings and ballots, ASTM Committee B08 on coatings, which I serve on, has approved a change to that spec to require baking only on parts above HRC39, in line with ASTM F1941, 1941M. So the next time you look at B633, the newer version will reflect that change. This is an important change for suppliers, platers, and end users alike. For the informed fastener user, it will save a lot of money and energy and provide shorter lead times. In any case, we should still always use ASTM F1941, F1941M as the specification for electroplating fasteners, even when ASTM B633 is called out. Now, you might say, how can I use ASTM F1941 when B633 is the call out? Well, the authoritative reference for doing that is in the introduction to ASTM F1941, F1941M, where it says, quote, this standard shall be used in place of ASTM B633 for mechanical fasteners. Now, if you're a supplier and your customer calls out ASTM B633, be sure they are informed and concur, and they will know that their certification will read ASTM F1941, F1941M. Now, if you have any questions on properly translating an ASTM B633 plating designation to an ASTM F1941, F1941M designation, AIM Testing Laboratory is happy to help you with that, and we're easy to get a hold of at info at aimtestlab.com. Well, the bottom line is this. ASTM B633, the problem is solved. 
but don't use it for fasteners. Use ASTM F1941, F1941M. And many thanks to our fastener professionals, especially Salim Brahimi, who serves on both the ASTM F16 and B08 committees for working to this solution. This has been Carmen Vertulo with your Fastener Training Minute. Thanks for listening. The Fastener Training Minute with Carmen Bertullo is a regular feature of Fully Threaded Radio. The title sponsors of Fully Threaded Radio are Brighton Best International and Stellfast. Fully Threaded is also sponsored by Eurolink Supply Service, in SQL Software, and of course, the FCH Sourcing Network. Get out to fastenersclearinghouse.com.